Hello, 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 everybody. Oh man, you know, when you are born again, when you are working for God, when God owns you, produces, produces you, pardon me, manufactures you or what he wants and brings you up, well, you gotta go according to God's plan. <clears throat> And if all you know is scripture, and you don't go according to God's plan, what does that mean? God's plan never started within you. God been had his plan. God finished his plan. And God just wants you to finish out the plan because God has already finished the plan. As he did with Moses and the Israelites. As he did with Joshua and the walls of Jericho. As he did with the cross of the Christ. You know, as he did with Elisha, with the chariots. Now, as he's done with me on many occasions. Another true servants. Now, those out there waiting on God to do something for you, his hand to move. Remember, scripture is beautiful. The scripture, there's a lot of the words of the Most High is in there. And there's also some inspiration from the prophets and the apostles, disciples. Um, But are you, a, are you an apostle in life? Are you a disciple in life? Are you a servant in life? Are you living your life? Biblically, thoroughly, being the light of Israel? That's the question. So, you know, by not following God, by disobeying God and just thinking, oh, I know scripture, so I can, you know, in order to hear God's voice, you gotta spend time with God. And uh, as always, the first commandment, you gotta love God with all your heart, mind, and soul. Because in, in order to love somebody, anybody, with your heart, mind, and soul, that means you have to give full dedication. It's marriage, remember, for better or worse. No matter what's happening, no matter how much you're crying, no matter how much you uh, you lost it at times, which I know about. No matter how much you just mess up, and uh, no matter how good you do, but love someone with your heart, mind, and soul it's for life. And that's what you gotta realize. So we can all take tips from some of the apostles, from some of the prophets of old. Remember, when something happens and it looks bleak for you, don't lose faith. Use the example and continue to push on. Use the example. You understand? There's not that they didn't love God, but they lost faith at times. So, today, let's understand no lose faith in your God that has saved you from Rome, from Egypt, slavery, and so much other nonsense you can never save yourself from. So if you truly repent it, meaning you turn fully to Christ, then you belong to God and you love God. So I'm gonna say it again. No matter what the situation is, no matter how many times you cry, no matter how many times you mess up, no matter how many people you disciple, no matter how many people you heal, remember it's all through God and it's from God. Create for him and by him. So no matter what you do or don't do, remember, your main th your main thing, your main job is to keep the faith, that's what's required of you. So keep the faith in the one you love. I love him with all your heart, mind, and soul. Love y'all too, peace.